I've been uh, trying to uh, do a video like this uh, uh, from a uh, long time and now I've got a chance to do this and I do this uh, especially for one uh, main reason that uh, the understanding about diabetes is very much necessary in the <clears throat> new world you know and uh, and uh, the basic things about diabetes is been told in a very short uh, video and uh, try to understand this and uh, follow uh, it in a better way so that you can control your diabetes uh, and prevent the complications related to the diabetes. The diabetes is uh, there everywhere, entire world it is there and it affects everyone uh, around the globe. The number is uh, slowly increasing day by day and in India there is supposed to be one in 30 people that is one in 30 people are affected by diabetes in India and the main problem with diabetes is it can only be controlled and never be cured that we should understand and always make sure that you consult your doctor and regularly speak about your problems and avoid the self medications as much as possible now what is diabetes we'll see the pancreas is a gland endocrine gland which is situated behind your stomach in the abdomen and that is the one which produces an insulin and insulin is the one which is going to control the blood sugar and diabetes occurs when the production of insulin from the pancreas is less or the insulin which is being already produced is not working properly so this is the two reasons in case of uh, diabetes the the insulin which is produced will reach the cells and it has got something like a receptor suppose this is a receptor and the insulin is going to get attached to this area and once it is attached here the cell has got gateway or channels where the glucose has to enter into the cell so only if the insulin get attached here the glucose can enter into the cell see the insulin is attached the gateway for the glucose is opened and the glucose molecules will enter into the cells and suppose any condition where the insulin is not here the gateway is not going to open and the glucose molecules which are there in the blood will remain inside the blood vessels and when you check the blood sugar it will be high that means the glucose which is absorbed into the bloodstream will remain inside the blood which cannot enter into the cells. So that is what happens in case of diabetes. See, the main thing to control diabetes is to learn about diabetes. So if you have to understand what is diabetes, how to check diabetes and all that I'm going to tell you. The main symptoms of diabetes is uh, too many but I'm going to tell you the major ones the excessive thirst that you feel like wringing water more that can be excessive hunger you feel like eating more and that can be excessive urination especially in the night and there can be weight loss that means if you happen to lose weight about three to four kgs in a span about one to two months you should always suspect diabetes first and fatigue fatigue that is you feel not have you will not have energy to do the normal routine work suddenly if you feel a lethargy or fatigue you should always suspect diabetes now coming to the normal blood values of sugar that is the first one you should know is the fasting blood sugar which is normally taken after 8 to 10 hours of fasting that means if you take the food at night at 9 or 10 o'clock you're supposed to check the blood sugar by 7 o'clock and that you should take 
that is the blood should be taken without medicines without doing exercise without smoking and the value should be less than 100 and there is no problem in drinking plain water it is not going to affect your blood sugar but no medicines no exercise and no smoking and PPDS that means postprandial blood sugar is taken after two hours of blood two hours of food and um, uh, some people will tell you one and a half hours to hour, uh, one hour and all, but it is not like that. The WHS uh, uh, advised or recommended to do the PPBS at two hours of food. That means if you take food at eight o'clock in the morning, you have to collect the blood by 10 o'clock and the value should be less than 140. And the third test you do for diabetes is the A1C test that is HbA1c which will give you a value of three months of average blood sugar and that can be taken at any time of food it is not, not related to food so you can take the blood for HbA1c at any time of the day now in diabetes the value C the fasting blood sugar is 126 or above and if you get a 126 value and that should be confirmed with the second test probably about one week later and if the second test also comes more than 126 then you can confirm that the person is having diabetes and uh, this 126 might some many people ask why 126 that is because in uh, UK there is a study conducted that is UK PDS study is there and in that study uh, they have found out that 14 percent of the people with uh, uh, value of blood sugar fasting blood sugar 126 had retinopathy that means the diabetes related eye problem was there in about 14 percent of the people with the fasting sugar of 126 that is why we have we have put the value as 126 and post prandial blood sugar if it is 200 or above we can tell that the person is diabetes only after taking a second time that is about one week later then if somebody is having symptoms of diabetes that is excessive uh, thirst excessive appetite excessive urination and if you check the value of a blood sugar random taken that means any time of the day if you take a blood sugar if it is more than 200 you can tell that the person is diabetic and you need not do a second test so if the fasting blood sugar PPBS you have to confirm for a second time but RBS with the symptoms and the blood value more than 200 you need not confirm the person is having diabetes. Pre-diabetes is a condition where the value if it is uh, from 100 to 125 and the PPBS value is 140 to 199 and the HbA1c value if it is 15.7 to 6.5 this is the way you should check and find out and if you are in this stage you can control your diabetes you can do exercise you can do diet and you can go back to reverse the to normal value that means you are not a diabetes you are a pre-diabetes and if you identify a person in pre-diabetic stage with exercise and diet you can become normal but if you once you become diabetic it is it can be only controlled but it cannot be reversed that is what is uh, 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 being and at the right time you you believe like that but in future date probably uh, there can be treatments which can reverse diabetes can be reversed and diabetes is of two types type 1 and type 2 and type 1 diabetes there is no insulin production absolutely there is no insulin so uh, in such uh, people you have to give insulin injections and that is the only treatment available and uh, this type 1 diabetes will usually occur in children. Type 2 diabetes is the commonest one which is uh, especially due to reduced insulin production or insulin resistance. Insulin resistance means the insulin is not properly wiped working the insulin is produced in more quantities but it is not properly working so that is the main reason in type 2 diabetes and it occurs mostly in adults and nowadays the children are also getting more and more affected because of lack of exercise obesity and all that 
and this type 2 diabetes can be treated with pills or with injections. This is a diagram which shows the natural course of diabetes in UKPDS. UKPDS have already told you that is a study which is conducted in the in the UK uh, where about five more than 5,000 people are followed up with uh, history of uh, previous history or family history of diabetes and uh, you can see here this is the time where somebody is diagnosed with uh, the diabetes and you can see that almost 10 to 12 years prior to the development of diabetes the person is having changes and these changes are usually IGT, IGT means impaired glucose tolerance that means somebody is having um, uh, rise, rise, rise of blood sugar after food and later there will be slow rise of uh, postprandial hypoglycemia. Later there is slight rise of the fasting, hyper, uh, fasting blood sugar and later finally a person will develop diabetes. So like that, in a person who is di diagnosed with diabetes today, his process of developing diabetes has started about 10 to 12 years. That is what you should always remember and Later, you see, as problem goes on one to two years, six years, ten years, by the time all complications will start appearing, and that is why you should you should control diabetes. Now we'll see what is going to happen if the blood sugar rises. Many people feel that uh, uh, not aware why we should treat diabetes. In uh, when the blood sugar rises that is especially after food or day before food the sugar when it is dissolved in a water that means if you put sugar in one glass of water about 10, 10 spoons of sugar is put in one glass of water you can see how it is going to change that blood that water is going to become thicker and thicker just like that the blood the, the blood also becomes thicker and once it is thicker it is not going to freely flow it is not going to freely flow through the blood vessels and at times it can get clotted inside and reduce blood supply to the area the blood is actually supposed to flow so that is the reason so this you should always understand that means if blood sugar rises your blood is going to become thicker and thicker and there will be reduction of blood flow through the major organs in your body and there are chances of blood getting clotted that you should not forget so now why control why you should treat treatment why you should avoid sugar this is to control or prevent problems of diabetes which are supposed to occur about 10 to 15 years after the diagnosis of diabetes you are supposed to control diabetes to prevent complications many people don't understand this many people just for the reason you know they just want to control blood sugar but you should always understand that you are controlling blood sugar to avoid complications which are supposed to occur after about 10 to 15 years of diabetes now we will see what is going to happen the complications see, it can affect the eyes and cause retinopathy especially by affecting the blood vessels which are there in your retina that is a layer of the in, in, interior most layer of the eyeball where you feel your vision that is the area which is the light is going to fall and you feel or see things because of that and like this there can be changes in the blood vessels and finally that, that small blood vessels which can rupture and cause loss of vision so the diabetes can affect the eyes it can affect the nerves nerves are the small uh, structures which will supply the skin and give you sensations and so once the nerves are affected it is called neuropathy you can have numbness or tingling sensations in your feet and there will be loss of sensations later and once there is loss of sensations you may not feel pain when it is getting injured and there can be ulcers which are not healing so neuropathy and the kidney can be affected leading to nephropathy nephropathy that is also important and it can cause renal failure in later years so you should check with this and it can affect the heart especially it can affect the blood vessels of the heart and close or, or cause stenosis and cause 
heart attack or it can affect the blood vessels of the leg where there can be the closure or stenosis of uh, the blood vessels of the foot and leading to ulcers like this because of the reduction of blood supply to the feet or it can cause the affect the blood vessels of the brain leading to closure and then stroke that is hemiplegia one-sided uh, weakness of uh, the body then you should always remember that see you take medicines you control blood sugar to save all these organs all these are you say the brain the kidneys the heart the feet the neurons and your eyes so you save these organs to control blood sugar to save these organs and now we'll see who are the people who are affected with diabetes commonly nowadays you see that anyone can be affected with diabetes anyone can be affected but more commonly seen in people who are aged after the age of 40 and heredity is one problem that is if your father or mother or both are having diabetes the children can get diabetes at an early stage people with high blood pressure also can develop diabetes people with high cholesterol especially triglycerides can get diabetes and especially people with obesity that is overweight people obese people can get diabetes and people with tummy large tummy can get diabetes and people who don't do exercise who are sedentary uh, does not have physical exercise or physical uh, physically active people get, get less diabetes excessive stress mental stress can cause diabetes people with high uric acid can get diabetes people with thyroid disease especially hypothyroidism or hyperthyroidism can get diabetes ladies with uh, menstrual problems especially irregular menstruations PCOD that is polycystic ovarian disease can develop diabetes and people or ladies who are who had gestational diabetes that is diabetes during pregnancy can get diabetes in later years so these are the people commonly affected why I tell this is is such people always if they are not having diabetes you should check for diabetes frequently especially at least once in a month once in three months you should get your blood checked for to 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 know whether you have diabetes or not so always make sure that you have a clear idea about diabetes especially the symptoms of diabetes whether you have a chance to develop diabetes what are the symptoms of diabetes and what are the complications of diabetes how do you check for fasting blood sugar pp blood sugar what are the normal values of that and such idea basic idea about diabetes you should always have and try to to avoid self medications especially based on common sayings among, among the people you know people might say that such medicine is nice uh, uh, you have such a medicine you try that but you always make sure you talk to your doctor and make sure that you follow uh, you know correct medical treatment so that you don't have future problems and you should always know that health is one's own responsibility only doctors can help you you are the one which are going to take care of your health and make sure you do that and <clears throat> be healthy be healthy always be healthy and make sure that only with health you can enjoy this beautiful world if you don't have health you may not see these beautiful uh, uh, scenarios which are there around you so you always make sure that you are healthy and try to control your diabetes hope this uh, video will help you uh, to uh, control your diabetes and please subscribe my channel if you feel that it is uh, helpful for you such future videos it will always be there with you and i'll make sure that such videos are there for you to control diabetes thank you